Chuckles, what is going on? Patch check, coin check, ring check, shirt check. All those checks are out of the way. I have another bourbon review for you. Um, You guys have nothing else better to do because everybody should be inside because of the coronavirus or the COVID-19. But if you drink bourbon, it eliminates it. It's science. I'm not sure about that, but looks good on paper. Uh, I went down to Kentucky recently, just a few days ago. And we went down there and we went across the river there on the other side of Cincinnati. I'm from Ohio. And we went to New Rift Distillery. And then we went to Party Source. Now, Party Source, I never heard of until a few weeks ago. And somebody said, hey, you bourbon geek, you should go to Party Source. And so I did. And my mind was blown. I couldn't wrap my head around how many bourbons I have never heard of. So I only bought stuff either I knew about and it's impossible to find in Ohio because our liquor laws suck here or that I've just never heard about and I bought it at a reasonable price and because uh, it intrigued me and I like packaging. I'm a sucker for marketing. So with that being said, this is one of those bourbons where uh, I've never heard of it ever but the packaging caught my eye and it was the right price. So today we will be reviewing and first impressions, Kentucky Vintage. Oh yeah, original sour mash. Oh my goodness, look at this. Straight Kentucky bourbon whiskey distilled and aged bottled in Kentucky, 90 proof. Oh, I just love this bottle so much. Look at how much writing. You guys ready to read? We'll be on chapter two here. I really, really like this. This caught my eye. I'm like, ooh, Regal. I like the wax. That wax is nice. That's an eye catcher right there. Just everything about this bottle, I was like, I need to put it in my cart. This marketing and this packaging is beautiful. I even like the scripture and the writing. There's like a small amount of texture on the bottle label. I know you guys really don't care about the bottle, but I do, and it makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside when I see a bottle like this. They take time for their packaging. They're proud of what it is, and I like that. Um, what it says is original sour mash made with pure limestone water and only the finest natural ingredients, aged for many long years, many long years. <laughs> And select new charred oak barrels until fully matured is until full maturity is reached. Bottled at 45% APV 90 proof by Willet Distillery, Bardstown, Kentucky. So it's a Willet product. Hey, look at that. Hot diggity dog. And then it says 4004 USA. Chapter two says available in very limited qualities. This whiskey is the result of the knowledge and skill handed down from one generation of master distillers for the next five continuous generations of Kentucky craftsmen who have mastered the art of distilling the finest quality Kentucky bourbon. We are proud to recommend this vintage bourbon. Wow. Chapter three. <laughs> I'm not going to read it all. There's another. Oh, my goodness. There is a lot on this. Um, I do like this, though. They have a little label on the back that kind of tells you the batch number and everything. And it's signed. Oh, that's nice. Let's bust her open here. Uh, any excuse to use a knife? My new sharp thing? Boom. Hinder XM18. Let's get to it without cutting off my hand. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so limited, they don't want you to have it. Good, my golly, geez, George. Oh, there we go. I think we might have got her there. 
This is the thickest. I mean, I'm not joking, man. That is thick wax. This might just turn into a... <laughs> oh, if you're still with me, I really appreciate it. Oh, my goodness. Holy shnikes. That's insane. I mean, I like a wax bottle, don't get me wrong, but this is absolutely bonkers, man. I mean, look at that. This is a $400 knife. No joke. Hey, we're getting somewhere. Holy Jesus. You got, dude, that was, that was crazy. <laughs> that was entertaining. Holy crap. I mean, look at that. Look how thick that is. Boy, somebody must have double dipped this sucker. Good Lord. Look, it's still, it's still attached to the bottle. I mean, that is just... Oh, and then it just pops right off. That easy, folks. Just that easy to open it. I mean, psh, psh, like nothing. I got this. <laughs> Let's give this a pourry pour and get to this. Holy smokes. All right. Kentucky Vintage. Look. Bonus for the cork, by the way. I don't know if... Uh, I like that incredibly thick. Will you imagine bringing that to a party and like you got this like great looking bourbon and you couldn't open it? I mean, that's a stout knife, so I'm not afraid of hurting the knife, but good Lord. <laughs> Super dark. I mean, dark brown. The color on it is just incredible. It is dark. It says I am a warm hug inside this glass all day long. It's very, very nice. I like a good dark bourbon. The legs on her, pretty good. It's pretty good. Not the best, but respectable. Let's give her a smell. Cheers. Oh, it's actually very mild in smell. I, I would have figured I would have been punched in the mouth by this. This seems like a man's bourbon. Very nice, very nice. I mean, the first thing you get is a really nice but pungent. It's it's like a smooth caramel. Not overly complex. You get a lot of caramel on the front of your nose. You get corn. You get a hint of rye. Boy, it, it, it's it's awfully hard to kind of get much of anything other than like a sweet, sweet caramel and corn. Which those are very traditional bourbon, bourbon scents. But I feel like some reviewers just look over it because they're trying to find like the most unique scents. But it should be recognized. You should recognize those flavors because traditional bourbon is delicious. There's just the smallest amount of oak in there. And I do get like a bright. There is a bright hint of like. um, Almost like a melon fruit. It's nice. But really what you get on the forefront of your nose. And what I would say most people would get without overanalyzing a bourbon. Is caramel. So if you were to taste this, or if you were to try this, I would look for caramel, corn, and a slight hint of rye. Everything else, you really got to kind of have to work for the smell. Let's give her a taste. Cheers. Tink. Mm. That is money all day long. Oh, my goodness. So there's a little bit of heat, not a lot, but oh man, the sweet toffee in this is like, 
that might be the most toffee flavor I have ever gotten out of a bourbon. It is like eating a candy bar. Oh my goodness. You get, it's not, oh buddy, just so much toffee. You get a little bit of caramel. You get this wonderful, wonderful caramel note mixed with like an oak right across the middle of your tongue. Like if you were to cut your tongue in half, kind of like right here, it's just oaky and caramel and just so beautiful. But where I'll tell you, it's not super complex. So, I mean, you just get this sweet coffee or toffee, sorry, sweet toffee, caramel oak. Those are the distinctive flavors. I don't get much more than that. A nice hint of sweet corn. But I'll tell you where this is going to really shine is, oh my goodness, the finish on this. The finish is a, oh, you just get this overwhelming, wonderful, like just the nicest burn. Not in a bad way. I feel like I'm being hugged on the inside kind of deal. But you get the smokiness that comes up from the aftertaste. And then you get that overwashing of oak that mixes really, really well with that overpowering sweet toffee on the initial taste. And it's just so well balanced. What a home run. If this was available in Ohio, it would be on everybody's shelf as just a great traditional bourbon it's no real thrills it's not the most complex thing ever for 31 bucks dude it's right there it's just such a beautiful just you don't have to make it the most complex it's just good simple straightforward we're well balanced. Just everything's just married so well together. And where it overwhelms on some, some things, it balances it out like a sweet toffee. And then you get a smoky oak on the back note. Just a oaky and smoky, man. That's a good one right there. If you guys are in Kentucky, if you guys know about Kentucky Vintage, congratulations. You are winning at life. This is the first time I've ever had it. But I guarantee you it won't be the last. I might have to make another trip down to Party Source here. I am going again in July. And um, I'll pick you up some of this if you can find it. Hopefully that's available in Ohio soon. What an incredible, incredible bourbon. I would expect no less from a Willet product. And uh, boy, am I happy I picked this up. Good job. Good job. That's my review for today. All right. You guys take care. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, click, share, tell your buddies. Let me know what you think of Kentucky Vintage. Let me know if um, you get the same flavors as I do. As always, be respectful. I'm just a dude that likes bourbon. I'm not an expert. I'm just an enthusiast. But you guys have a wonderful day. If you have to stay inside... Drink something great. Stay safe. Later.